Uh, G'day YouTube. Uh, so today I'll be doing a review on uh, our 2015 Mars Extremo rear fold camper. Uh, the reason we went with the rear fold uh, is the simple fact of uh, the very small step to get in and out uh, due to our eight month old daughter who soon will be walking. Um, very easy for her to get in and out uh, of, of the camper trailer. Uh, and also the fact that we can put her little porta cot in that corner and still have plenty of room for us to uh, get in and out of to our bed and to our drawer and whatnot. <clears throat> um, compared to say a Ford Fold, which takes up a little bit less real estate, which doesn't really bother us, uh, but they have really steep stairs to try and climb up into. And we've seen that as a danger fact for our daughter once she starts walking and wanted to climb up into that. Um, even for myself and my wife to try and hop up into that is it's a bit of a pain, especially once you've sat around a campfire and had a few drinks. So uh, the rear fold for us uh, was a big tip. Uh, obviously, they're very hard to try and come by now. Um, a lot of companies are phasing them out because they take up so much real estate. Um, but what we wanted uh, was, was that, and you can still get them. So the Mars Extremo uh, ticked a lot of those boxes for us. Uh, stuff like the, uh, the the double stitching, but then the plastic sealing over every stitch. Uh, that was a big plus for us. Not a, not a massive thing that we looked for, but once we found out that it had, it sort of really, you know, is another good thing to add to the list. The double windows, the canvas inside and out. Uh, that's really good because you don't want to have to go out into the rain if you you know want to close one window. You can just you know double up. It's just another simple thing. Uh, wasn't a massive thing, but it was a good thing to add onto our list. Um, so I'll just run through a few things that I've done to our camper trailer um, that might help you. Uh, you know, with your camper trailer, setting it up, because uh, everyone's camper trailer, everyone's needs are all different. So hopefully uh, today I can, you know, pass on some of my uh, my little camping hacks to you guys. Okay, to start off, these here are the uh, the factory um, over center latches that Mars supply you with. They are good, they work, they're adjustable, they do what they want. But this is what they give you to lock it with uh, to stop them opening up on corrugated roads. Uh, what I've just purchased is exact same over center latch, but it has a, uh, a little locking mechanism, a little anti-vibration locking mechanism on there. It's also uh, like a little nylock in there, so it is a bit more firmer to try and turn that so uh, they don't vibrate, um, vibrate off and turn around. Um, these are a direct replacement footprint is exactly the same um still use stainless steel hardware and whatnot exactly the same thing so uh yeah you know they're about 12 bucks from uh from ues that's a good thing to do um <clears throat> fire blanket uh these are only five bucks um throw a, buy a couple of these i've got one in the ranger uh, and i use one in each side of the um slam shut doors on the on the side of the camper you know they're five dollars very handy as well as a uh, fire extinguisher i have one in the drawer and uh, one in my toolbox in the front which i'll get to later on <clears throat> um the coleman uh, i'll just make sure that's in focus there we go uh these these are about 59 dollars from ebay coleman uh, DC and AC, so they do run uh, off of a 240 volt, uh, and when they are running off 240, they also charge the uh, the battery in there. So uh, at the moment, flip to DC. They've got a little light in there, um, high and low. If you undo this in the middle, it actually oscillates. Uh, you can choose which way you want it because these are all uh, on an angle, so you can shoot it off to one side. Um, on a single charge, this will probably run for a, a night and a half um, on high in hot weather, which is uh, which is okay. Um, but it will run all night. So uh, we we have one that we run in uh, in the uh, baby's cot and just cable tie it back so it doesn't fall on it. Uh, and then I run one. Uh, I just shove it down in here on, on my side of the bed, or we can hang it from our skylight roof uh, above me and the missus, and it's uh, it, it's a good thing. Right off. <clears throat> Uh, what's in here will probably change your 
camp set up for the rest of your life and you'll probably put one in your four-wheel drive and every trailer or van you have from here on in. Um, they're about $10 off of eBay. Uh, as you can see, I have a little LED strip light here uh, on an earth switch. So when the doors open, um, just a little LED light for when I go to my, my beer fridge there. <clears throat> what this is, is a sensor light. It's got 12 volt in, 12 volt out. Uh, point that to the direction which way you walk up to the fridge. It has a uh, couple of settings on there. Uh, so basically, some places around Australia, when you have a light on, the bugs are drawn to the light. Um, but uh, this will detect you moving up to your fridge to go grab another drink. Flick the light on, um, go to your fridge, grab a grab a beer, grab a water, whatever, um, and then it's got a timer. It will turn off after a certain set time. Very handy thing. <clears throat> About ten bucks, fifteen bucks on eBay. Uh, I've had one in my previous four wheel drives, and I'm about to fit one to this one here. All right, uh, so next up, <clears throat> these lights. They are uh, from Core. You can get them from BCF. Uh, good quality aluminium frames. Uh, nice, sturdy, uh, clear rubberized filler in there. All the joints on the end are, you know, pretty sturdy. I like these, you know, cheap Chinese ones that you get. Good screwing connectors, <clears throat> and they are magnetic. So. Look at a couple of them, throw them up there on your um, on your awning poles. But where I keep wiring, there's a set of our King's ones in there. In your sink. It's it's good usable space. Um, so so why not use it? <clears throat> Keeps a bit of bit of space free in our drawer inside. Um, so we throw them in there. Also Throw your tea towels uh, in between your cooktop and your table there. Stop some bouncing around and vibrating and making a hell of a noise. Uh, as you can see there, 15 amp 240 outlet. I'll get to that when I get inside the camper trailer. <clears throat> Oops. And that just it literally stays on there. Uh, this is a lightweight, um, yeah, like a sound deadener heat proofer. This lowers the temp inside here by about 15 degrees uh, on a very hot day. Um, and as you all know, having your fridge turn off uh, or turn on and off is not good for your battery. So the less times you can get it to turn on, uh, the better it's going to be for your, your 12 volt system. So another good thing, buy it in rolls, cheap on eBay. Um, it's got a little st sticks on the back and... Uh, yeah, it drops the temps inside that toolbox. So, right here is my solar input. Uh, so that is uh, an IP rated, it is waterproof. Two pin plug. Um, that goes to my 200 watt solar blanket. Uh, that basically folds up to the size of one square. Uh, there's your input or output I should say um, and that's what charges uh, or gives charge to my DC DC charger as simple as plugging in I'm now getting solar input to my batteries I also have 240 15 amp input again that's waterproof <clears throat> moving to the front of the trailer <clears throat> the Elko off-road pin hitch uh, they come with a standard poly block uh, which personally I think are junk very hard to try and line up um, off-road they have a big you know hitching mechanism that come off of there this basically you lower down onto the pin it gives you as soon as it clicks it'll go green that means you're locked on that's all you got to do lower it down anyone can do it <clears throat> In here, can crusher. 
Uh, the previous owner had that there for his Weber Q. His Weber Q used to come up here. I don't use a Weber Q. I've got a little, little another barbecue cooker. Uh, plus the four burner is enough for us. So, on oh no, and we have the can crusher there, and we normally put a bin bag over there. So, uh, whenever we go camping, we can always still collect our five cents for our cans because we're in SA and that's what we do. Big space case, toolbox, waterproof. Um, toilet sits on top. All of our canvas floors, walls, everything all sits in this one side. Uh, some recovery gear. And, uh, that's our uh, bits and pieces for our fuel, uh, fuel cans on the front. A couple of containers there. That holds all our hot water, shower stuff, gas bottle for our uh, little cooker. Uh, and then all our guide ropes and spare clamps and water hose fittings and whatnot go on the other one. That um, also all our guide ropes we have changed to glow in the dark. Uh, so you can get it, it's about a dollar a meter on eBay. Um, does help when you have little kids running around. Uh, but you can fill this with so many different things. You have so much space in here and it still sits below my tow vehicle. So it's not a huge wind drag and your winch still goes over the top of it. So you don't have a drama there. Because uh, storage is a massive, massive plus uh, in a in a camper trailer. You want as much storage as you can get. So, as I said before, uh, our awning poles we just put uh, under our blanket. Our blanket stays in here permanently, um, so they don't rattle around or rub into our canvas when the canvas is uh, folded over. Um, we have the standard mattress in here just with a memory foam top on it um, and just a cook cover on it and a uh, fitted sheet. We are more than happy with that. Uh, we have a king size, really nice, comfortable bed at home and uh, and we still love sleeping inside of here. So mattress, standard form, is still very comfortable uh, if you're wondering. <clears throat> this is a pre-filter that we use for filling our water tanks basically got uh, a female female end on it inlet outlet uh, and this basically filters the water as it's going into your tank uh, cleaning our tanks our water tanks uh, I basically fill them with red cordial about two liters uh, overall between the two tanks and you go for a drive let it slosh around let it sit for uh, 16 to 24 hours then drain it out and you'll find your water, you could drink straight out of them, uh, out of your stainless steel tanks. So these are about $40, I think, from uh, from BCF or most of your, most of your camping stores. Um, so they're, they're a good thing. Next thing is get yourself one of them, a Rawcon uh, awning pole fitting system. That basically turns this single leg into a three leg system and it makes it a lot easier to put up on your own you basically put your middle pole up and then join your ends in um, these are normally square as well with a little bit of plastic on them and they rub through on the back i've rounded mine put a little bit of pinch weld on it and color coat all of my ends as you can see everywhere um, the other thing, these normally just have a pin on them. They go through the canvas into the internal pole. Uh, if you go get some uh, eye bolts or some round eye bolts like that, and you can either thread them in, depending how yours, how yours is. Uh, some of them don't have the nut on the back. You can either thread them in or uh, nut and bolt them straight through. And then this end here, you just put a little latch system on and you just hook them on. They stay on there and uh, and you just hook them on. A lot easier than trying to line the, uh, the stupid pins up. As for the awning, the awning stays on. We just flip it over the top and that stays on when we pat the camper down. Righto, next up, we're in the camper trailer again. Uh, this is basically how it looks. This is all without the bed on it. <clears throat> Um, one big massive drawer. We basically keep all of our stuff that just stays in the camper. So, um, you know, like 
mozzie coils and sandalwood uh, for when you're you know sitting outside and you don't want those bugs annoying you some games collapsible sink and pots pans um you know cutlery cleaning up stuff um you know sunscreen tea towels tea you know all your normal stuff these things these are brilliant these are about 10 bucks or so on ebay little bug zappers as you can see this one's quite full there we go it's on um they do have a light on them uh and you can charge them by usb little hooks on them we have three of them we bought these at christmas time uh, last year it's now april and we haven't charged them since we've got three of them and uh, we've been away four times four or five times now uh, and we haven't charged them so they are brilliant <clears throat> dustpan and broom uh very handy thing to have especially when you put the lino down on the floor like we have because normally this is just checker plate gets very hot and very cold so a bit of lino uh just uh plant down with some um alloy flat bar so basically all your standard nooks and crannies uh stay in here <clears throat> That. and then uh fold out table goes underneath we've actually got one in there at the moment but you can fit two i have seen people run the full drive super center um titan drawers in here very good use of space they uh the 1300s go all the way up to the kitchen there so that you can fit them and they come all the way out only bad point about them is you cannot access them without opening the trailer this drawer here opens through the standard hole in the back of the trailer when the camp is closed uh, which is quite handy another good thing we've added is this uh, bit of sort of foam vinyl um, just to stop kicking those latches and obviously that's pretty cold in winter so um, just sort of helps keep a little bit of warmth in and makes a nice little comfy step when you're getting in and out of bed <clears throat> that's where all your poles go as standard um they're all spare poles we don't really use those poles that much um some of them go in these corners here just to support that we've never used them or never needed them uh same thing in that corner you can actually undo this one here because it goes halfway along the door and you can actually run it down that way uh, you just change this end over same thing we've never needed to it's never been a worry for us but the poles that we do use um our only our awning poles uh, which i'll get to in a minute but those awning poles we just sit on top of our bed in our mattress when traveling uh because we keep our blanket on there we just wrap them up in that and they sit there so they're always easy to get to the only thing that we basically use from here is a broom um what i'm thinking of doing is putting a little uh diesel heater in here um you can get them to fit and uh you can still access everything behind it uh through here because that's on a hinge you just remove these bolts like the uh, battery side and you can still get to everything behind there so that's probably something i'm going to do to get to a bit more usable space and it's lockable so you can actually use this as a safe um you know you can put rifles your wallets phones whatever you want when you leave the leave the camper set up <clears throat> another thing we've added um i'll just get the remote out This basically just sits underneath the mattress when in travel. But uh, we plug him into there and that's our lights. Uh, now, I can bring them up, dim them down, change the color and change them to flash and whatever you want, go with music. Uh, we normally have it on either orange or white and dim it right down because our daughter normally sits uh or is normally sleeping in a cot there so um we normally uh yeah just have them on that but they're on a cordless remote uh it reaches outside so another good very handy thing very cheap get them off ebay uh and i've just cable tied them up there and haven't had a drummer they stay up there permanently even when i uh even when i pack the trailer up just leave a little bit of slack here obviously this isn't all the way out but this does go all the way out and um and i don't i don't have a drama with it charging ports uh usb charging ports good thing to have um we've got two long iphone cables that we run under the mattress up to each corner if we need to charge our phones when we're in bed 
and 2000 watt inverter um don't really use it all that often but it is there if we need to that's a mains and there's another mains on the outside so when we are on 240 uh we do have that's that's a mains the mains 240 into my messy 240 and 12 volt system uh, i have added another 120 amp hour agm battery uh to go along with the other 110 that's the previous owner put in there and i've also put in a different dc dc charger it's a 30 amp dc dc charger um you could fit another battery in there if need be and move the dc dc to up on the control panel or up in here um at the moment with near on 250 amps also 230 amp hours of battery power uh i'm i'm pretty happy where that is that's my 240 input just a little small ctec 5 amp charger uh as i do get good charge from my camper trailer into the dc dc every day when you drive and with my solar you know we don't run a don't have a have a drama i only run the small 40 liter 40 liter angle in the in the trailer uh plus some lights an oven like little uh, travel buddy oven here and there but we've never had uh, battery issues i also have a 95 liter waco uh dual zone in my car so we've got plenty of uh plenty of battery power and plenty of fridge power and whatnot so that's a basic standard system um plenty of room under there you could uh you know probably go with a couple of different size lithiums if you need more battery power in there but that's what i run so this does have a solar input as well so my solar is basically coming straight from my wall where i showed you before into here and that gives out 30 amps to my battery batteries uh that's a little ctec wireless uh basically i log on on my phone and that'll tell me what my current voltage is and uh how my batteries are doing there's a little battery sensor in there uh so it will say charge okay charge soon needs charge uh, i also have the exact same unit in my ranger so i have a list on my phone when i go into it and uh, i can check up on my battery from for both from sitting around the campfire uh the other thing i've done just a small little thing uh the zips all night the first night we come away is, that's all you could hear because it was blowing a gale so what i've done is just put some heat shrink around it and hasn't cut it out 100% but probably 80% of the tingling and tangling has uh, has disappeared last few things they come standard with these legs in the rear adjustable legs and they rely on the jockey wheel at the front which my new is junk and I'll get to that in a second and these two at the back so three points of contact to adjust the camber to get it level every single way um our first trip was in a uh, a sandy dune section kind of off centered very hard to try and get the camper to um to sit level so what i've done is for about 110 bucks you can buy another pair on ebay as you can see they're very adjustable at different heights and angles and just welded them to one of the cross braces on the floor underneath the camper trailer and now i've got contact on all four corners uh, and i can take a bit off the jockey wheel even though my jockey wheel can take it it made it a lot easier to try and um to get the bed flat which is a big thing when you're trying to camp because you want to be comfortable the next thing is the arc extreme off-road get rid of that piece of junk jockey wheel that you have on here is standard one that you have to unscrew and try and find a spot for this thing here has a magnetic handle on it <clears throat> is adjustable up and down which is good because my vehicle has four inches of lift so you're not winding all the way up and all the way down trying to get to the ground and as you can see it has a little locking pin just there so that when you do bring it back up that's locked in there and that's up out the way 
Uh, the stone guard, you might notice mine isn't on at the moment. Um, I'm going to design a new system because you have to remove the stone guard to get your spare wheel off. And with this, where I wanted it, uh, was a bit of a pain to get this on and off. So I'm going to design a new one that is a quick release that will protect my my uh, my camper trailer. <clears throat> um, pretty much reckon that is everything I've run through on the trailer. Um, get yourself a good brake controller. I use the Red Arc uh, Pro, uh, Toe Pro Elite, um, which works really well with the uh, factory brakes. And um, get yourself a nice Anderson plug on the back of your vehicle. Uh, mine's inbuilt into there. And uh, my last thing would be, I'll just move this stuff off of here. Is that very handy. That's just the standard Bunnings shelf. And you can get these from Bunnos. They're called Flexi Storage. As you can see, you can get these in different lengths. And they literally just slide in there like that. Get that out of the way. And I've just put two little dimple slots. Like that. And that. And that's given a nice little shelf um, for you to put your phone, speaker, eat at, your beer, whatever you want. Very handy thing. I also put two on the back of my drawers in my uh, in my tow car. One other thing I suggest. That is all the keys for this camper trailer and all its locks and all its doors. Yes, you can go around and color coat them all so you don't get confused. What I'm going to do is change these shitty handles here to slam locks like these ones as they are a lot better than those. Uh, and then I can actually, all of these locks are removable. You can actually common them so they can all be the same. Same as when I put my padlocks on there. I'll have two padlocks and you can change them as well. As for here, same thing. That's your, uh, that's your, uh, your security for your fuel and your gas. Um, just change just change them all. It might cost you, you know, $100 or $200, but it saves having all of that. You can have one key to do the whole camper trailer. Or if you've got a bit more time, you can put central locking on it. I don't go away all that often um, to to have central locking on it, but it would be a simple thing to do. You could also put some sort of alarm on all your doors. Same thing if you're traveling around day in, day out. But for me, I'm just gonna change them all to a slam lock and get rid of this mess. So thanks for watching guys. If you do have any questions, um, please don't, you know, don't hesitate, ask me. Um, I'll Leave a link in the description below for as much as I can find uh, or help you to with what I've explained today. Um, so I hope this helps you uh, setting up your camper trailer and I'd love to hear your ideas too. Thanks for watching. So standard, they give you a, uh, a water pump that feeds the kitchen and a gauge. 80 litre water tank underneath. Um, I have actually added... another 80 litre tank that I need to put a uh, bash plate on still um, and the two lowest points equal together so uh, they both use the same gauge they both equalize both have a separate filler um, and the breather uh, is is teed into the original <laughs> the other thing I've done is added in a tap. This gives brilliant water pressure for cleaning off your vehicle, your camper, your feet, your dog, your children, whatever you want. Um, 
make sure you clear the line and that just runs off the standard tank as well